So you're already more engaged probably than many people are. But one of the things that I realized pretty soon after I first came in the house is that even among people who can be very well educated, who are very passionate on issues, uh, much of what we learned in school itself never really orients to the real world about how you actually make change. So when we would do civics courses or things like that, you learn there's three branches of government and that there's checks and balances and some political theory, but not necessarily how you impact each of those branches of government. So I wanted to take maybe half of my time here just to leave some tips. Uh, on how to best engage and make and change law as ordinary citizens and advocates that are out there. And, and we time if you guys have any questions about how to make the process uh, maybe work better or things you want to know. Um, so the first thing I want to emphasize is knowing your elected officials. I think one of the benefits at the local level is a lot of people think, oh, you have to be rich, you have to be well connected, you have to be somehow in some inner circle. We're in session from January to May, and we will have the most amount of time to get to know you personally, really when we're out of session. So timing here will matter. A longer conversation is possible to just call up and say, and this works best if you're the constituent, if you don't know who your uh, elected officials are at any given point in time, you can always do projectvotesmart.org. And when you go there and say, is there anyone on this list I don't know? And you, as a citizen and constituent, have every right to expect that you have access to get to know the people who represent you. This is helpful for a couple reasons. You may already have a specific issue that you're wanting to advocate on, but I, in a perfect world, you can have a get to know, here's who I am, here's my life experience, educational experience, professional experience, these are the issues I care on. Let me make myself available to you as a resource. <laughs> what helps about that is that then when we're in a time crunch later on, and let's say I'm doing work on something that might affect somebody um, with developmental disabilities, and let's say somebody's a parent with a child with developmental disabilities or a caretaker or somebody like that, when a bill is introduced and we may need to be doing quick rapid response, I can pair your name with the issue and know right away more of the depth of what expertise you're bringing into it. And so when you're sharing not only what your thinking is, but why your thinking is, it will come in with even greater weight. Um, and so getting to know your elected officials, one-on-one -on -one meetings. In session, it's more likely to be maybe five minutes. Um, and so figuring out how to condense a whole lot of information in a short period of time can be very helpful. Um, and uh, so that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is that everything we do is available online. So tracking what we do in the timetable can sometimes be difficult. The state.